So there's this, remember what the three steps of living in the world, right? <laughs> no denial about what's actually going on. Number two, do what you can to be the assistance, right? However you can. Number three, and the most important thing of all, <laughs> do not attach to any outcome. Do not attach to any outcome, <laughs> right? So crucial. And the hardest one to do, not attached to an outcome. And it's a trap every time it comes up, right? Sometimes we won't be in denial. We'll see something going on where we can actually step in and do something toward making it better or making some kind of a difference, right? And so we do that work, whatever that looks like, right? We we give the money, we give our you know, time or like our wisdom or whatever it is. And then at that point, what has to happen? <laughs> and I move on, right? I wipe my hands of the whole situation. I've done what I can, right? I've done what I can and now I move on, regardless of what the outcome ends up being. Because you have to, again, we'll use the word allow, we have to allow for the universe to bring what is needed in the moment. And we don't have the full picture, right? And if you don't have the full picture, it is only an ego that would presume that it could look at the situation and know exactly how it should work out. We can look at it from a space of preference and know how we would like it to work out. But how do we know all of the things involved, right? Karma's involved, situations with different people, different life choices, wherever they're at in their journeys, right? Like so many variables that you can't even begin to see. All we can do is our part and we do our part and then we have to be willing to say, and now allow it to be what it's going to be. Because to argue with that is insane. Go ahead. Can I ask? I mean, I, I think one thing that I struggle with is, did I did I really do the best that I can, the most that I can? You know, and I think that's the thing that I constantly question. Okay. And that's fine, right? So that's giving you an opportunity to get clearer in yourself of what you are capable of doing and if you do what you're capable of doing right or if you you're looking for an easier route or a faster route if you're trying to be lazy with it and that's for you to answer that so if if that if the questioner arises and asks the question and you attach to the question and you go down that rabbit hole then take advantage of the rabbit hole and ask the hard questions but whatever it is learn something from it right and work through that thing like the next time it pops up do it <laughs> and do it all the way to the end so you never ever have to end up there again you'll know if i say i did what i could it means i did what i could right within whatever parameters are are um you know good with your conscience doesn't matter if other people would look at you and say, you really didn't do all you could have done, right? What matters is how you hold it in within your conscience, <laughs> which is the voice of the eternal in you. And you feel the truth in that. And you either can look at it and take the question, did I really do all I could have done? And your conscience from that space, it's either going to look at it and it's going to be clear. Yes, I did. Or it's going to be like, mm, 
Yeah, I don't think I really did. Then the question is, why not? What stopped you, right? And that's a wonderful opportunity to dig deeper and find out what it was that stopped you. You know, probably some kind of a fear that arose. And so you tried to do a little work around. So you were trying to kind of like satisfy the fear or quell your fears by kind of half-assing it, so to speak. <laughs> All right. I'll do enough to feel like I did it, but not so much that the fear that I have about this, if I actually did it all, will be made manifest. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, good. Linda's nodding too. Good. 